Hi folks, I'm outside on my roof tonight for a very good reason because this is the peak time of the Perseid meteor shower and I'm looking for meteors. And if I'm lucky, I'm going to see one on average about one every minute, but it's very patchy. Sometimes you don't see any for a long time. I just saw one over there, which is very nice. Uh, it's pretty dark up here and I want it to stay that way because I want my dark adaption to be good. Uh, your eyes take quite a while to adapt to the dark and actually see what's going on. I'm in London, which is a grave disadvantage because the skies in London are so badly polluted by light, stray light from the city. It's very hard to see anything, but you can see a few of these meteors because they're quite bright. So if you've got clear skies and you're up, <laughs> and um, I can only tell you about the UK, but you should be able to see them from anywhere, certainly in the Northern Hemisphere, about this time of night. And um, yeah, you can look towards the east, and you can look towards, if you know where Perseus is, it's rising in the northeast. Um, that's where the the meteors appear to come from. That's called the radiant, and um, they they do appear to radiate from there. But actually, you can look anywhere around the sky, and um, you're just as likely to see one because they hit the Earth's atmosphere completely randomly, um, distributed along the path of a of a comet, because comets shed dust the whole time. This particular comet is called Swift Tuttle. And um, we we're lucky enough to go through this trail of dust uh, at exactly this time every year. It's called the Perseid Meteor Shower. So if you've got nothing to do, go up on your roof or go some someplace where it's dark-ish. And the uh, best thing is just lay on your back for a while on something soft. And um, just relax and look around. Hopefully you'll see a couple of meteors. Let me know if you do, okay? <laughs> Good luck. I remember doing this with Patrick, dear Patrick Moore, years ago. We used to go down to his garden in Selsey where the sky is pretty good dark. And we used to see a lot of lovely meteors there. Them's were good times. We miss you, Patrick. But it's thanks to you that we know about all this stuff and we can share it. So, grab yourself a meteor shower tonight, okay? <laughs> good luck, folks.